Such an unusual time to come out considering the COVID-19 pandemic, but there are certain issues. They don't have the luxury of time to wait. Hence the reason why I'm out. Welcome to Denton Bridge. Denton Bridge is the only marina in the Gambia. A marina that houses a lot of traditional and artisanal boats that take people in and around the creeks of the Gambia. You can get a boat from here all the way to Basse, Georgetown, Bintang, Kuntawur, Kaur, and a lot of people, their livelihoods depend on this place. Tourism as a product relies heavily on this little natural marina that we call Oyster Creek. For this place to be sustainable, we need to make sure that we are in harmony with the environment. Ahoy, welcome aboard. Time to go venture out. Welcome to Gambia Uncharted. Gambia Uncharted tends to go to places unknown, places unseen. Oyster Creek, Denton Bridge. It's a marina as you can see. Boats abound all over the place. Those are sailing boats. People sail around the world, come here with their sailing boats to anchor, get into town, buy food or whatever. Gambian fisher folk, especially women folk, this is the place they come and look for oysters, crabs, mussels. They use this to feed their families, take care of the livelihoods of their families. Equally, we have the leisure business of cruise businesses who support and serve the tourism sector. Their livelihoods are at stake because the openings of these narrow creeks have been threatened by the invasion of these Chinese trawlers these big giant trawlers that should be out at sea and not out in the creeks. Gambia as we once know it is threatened and is threatened because of dollars and cents coming from China and in the end there won't be any socio-economic benefit for the greater good because our environment would have been decimated and destroyed just like the logging of wood has happened in the forest of the Gambia and the Casamas. Something must be done and we need to do something. I'm inside this small, small creek and look at these massive, massive vessels. Hansen 3, 5, 0, 1, 0, 7, so it's a fleet. And these fleet of boats are trawling um, boats and these boats generally should be out at sea in the blue waters. So this is not the place these boats should be. This is not the place these boats should anchor and this is not the place that these boats should be to rest or otherwise. So we are asking the ministries of fisheries to tell us why these boats are here because these boats are not meant to be out in the creek. Some of these boats 
they're getting close to the end of their economic lives. And the unfortunate bit is they will be left to rot here and it will be an environmental pollution also. Look at this boat. As you can see, it is not too far towards the end of its economic life. It is becoming a wreck. It is becoming a pollutant. Government of the Gambia, please do something for our people, your people. Feel our pain and know that these boats have no business in these open waters. These are our creeks. This is a place for our biodiversity. This is a place that we don't need these vessels to be in. We have a fishing port. Let them go and dock at the fishing port. Let them pay their dues. They cannot just come and dock out in the open and leave as and when they want to. This fishing grounds or this fishing zone is designated for three types of fishermen. Our women oyster harvesters or oyster farmers, the people or the women who also come on small boats without machines to look for crabs or mussels, and also traditional Gambian fishermen, some of them with small engines, 10, 15, 20 horsepower, just to help them get out in the open. They need help. Because imagine a big Chinese trawler coming in contact with this gentleman. It's going to spell doom. Uh, anyway, happy when you know. Happy when you see Chinese is because things when you access it, you will be able to do it. If you Because I'm going to worry about it. So, the Chinese is going to worry about it. Because I'm going to prepare it for you. Because first time Look at the size of this fish right here in his life bait box. It shows you their size, they're small. So the fish population around here is so young and these are still waters. This is where they can grow to a large size before they go out in the open seas. So this place must be a protected zone from commercial and industrial fishing. We must not have any industrial activity or footprint of industrial activity on these grounds. These are hollow grounds. These are sacred sites for our environment and we must respect it if we want our fish stock to keep on growing. Here I come, Banjo. I am now entering the fishing port of Banjo called Wafinjago. It wouldn't be a surprise that everything you see here are fishing boats. These are trawlers. And that truck right there belongs to a company that's getting ready to equip their fishing boat to go out at sea. So all these boats do come here to land their catch. All of these boats 
dock here to get their supplies and they also drop off their staff from this end. As you can see, we are seeing over 15, 20 boats. So the issue is, if these boats can come and dock here, and once they dock here, they have to pay the port for stevedore charges and any other charges associated with them docking here, be it collecting water or otherwise. So therefore, why should we have those Chinese vessels park and dock at the Denton Bridge where they don't belong, where they have no business in? All those are fishing trawlers coming to park here and when they come and park here, they have to pay somebody because this is an infrastructure that needs maintenance. This is an infrastructure that needs upkeep. Allowing those fishing boats at Denton Bridge to park it's allowing this infrastructure to go to waste. Allowing those boats at Denton Bridge to use Denton Bridge is making sure that this infrastructure will not be monetized. And the Department of Fisheries. There is no logic economically, socially or environmentally for allowing those vessels to be where they are. That's not their place. These creeks are very narrow, so imagine boats of that magnitude having to ply this area. It becomes very difficult to maneuver, and oftentimes the victims of this maneuvering are our mangrove forests. These mangrove forests have been here centuries and centuries ago. They're thriving, and it's adding to the eco balance and the eco diversity of this area. These are mangroves that have been here for centuries. Now you can see broken branches because the creek is so narrow and when, when these vessels are coming trying to make a turn, they tend to lean on these mangroves. When they lean on the mangroves, this is the consequential effect. Look at this, these are all dead mangroves. Dead, dead, that's why they're creaking. Here it is, they're dead, gone, gone for good. Look at this, this is destruction at its peak. It's right here, visible for everybody to see. We don't want these fishing trawlers plying these waters day in, day out. They ought to be where they belong, at the open seas and at the fishing port in Banjul. This is a jetty built by the Chinese right in the mouth of this creek that has no business being here and it's serving this fish meal and we need to make sure that this jetty gets out of here because this jetty has no business in this place. These are government officials mostly from the marines and other places who come here to see this fishing site. It's good that it provides em um, employment to Gambians, but in as much as it provides employment, we need to find a way to have sustainability, a way by we have a win-win. The environment wins, socially, the people and the communities win. But as it is right now, it's a win-loss situation and we cannot live in a win-loss situation. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Good. You had your concerns and we thought it appropriate to sit at the team to be held as if I know what I'm not doing. So at least that's their place in the environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
um, the Denton Bridge, how um, trawlers came in here, why they are here, is not even my concern as of now. Mm -hmm. My concern is should they be here? In this small creek flying it every day. Mm -hmm. The reason why we took it upon ourselves is because we have had a series of meetings. Mm -hmm. The former executive had had meetings. Mm -hmm. And it looks like there is no, there, no, there is no solution coming, forthcoming. Mm -hmm. And by the day, our mangroves are depleting. Mm -hmm. On the creek here, we have people whose livelihood depend on the mangroves and the oyster. Mm -hmm. This morning, you could see them, their boats are so small and tiny. When these big boats pass them, their waves are so big you could easily capsize boats. These are concerns. We are not wild goose chasing. We are not running after anybody. We are just looking for solutions. And this solution, one, one of the solutions that we are looking for is, can we have these trawlers docked somewhere at the Wafinjago? Because I want to believe that one was built purposely for it. Why aren't they there? And the concern you raise is exactly what you have, one of them, is one of the ones we have discussed. Them, that they should not anchor their vessels where they are right now. Especially. And you also want them advise them that all the anchors should be at the open water. Yes, and the landing of their catches at the the foot is also discussed. Thank you. But we heard from other stakeholders so that at the end of it we have a, a bigger round table. Mm -hmm. Because we all of our, all of us are players in the field. Mm -hmm. Then we hope the problem will be solved very soon. I think what you have said is everybody's concern. This is what we have. This is the Gambia. We, have, we all of us have to come together as a family and sort this problem out. And inshallah, things will work out. With the move that the Director General has taken, we will go ahead. We will not move back. Every government institution is a service provider to the people. So you have all right to ask for anything in any office. If you think your, your livelihood is threatened if you think your, your, your interest is threatened. It's, it's appropriate and it's in order. In fact, it gives you as an inf it makes you have to take an informed decision. Well, all hope is not lost. The new Gambia needs voices to be amplified. And today, I was pleased to say that government has heard our pleas. Government has heard our cries, and hopefully pretty soon, this marina will be a marina for leisure boating and sport fishing. Industrial and commercial fishing will go where it belongs, at the Banjul Fishing Port. This was Gambia Uncharted, trying to keep the country green, trying to keep our environment friendly, and make sure that we have sustainable living and livelihood with our ecosystem. <laughs>